Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Look at the muscles on you. Calm down. find it eventually. Sea strip. There it is.
found the body of Sir Emil, the one who appeared to have perished centuries ago while questing for the Shrine of the Crusader. Perhaps I can find some clues on his body that will help my own my own quest for the Crusader's relics turn out better than his. Upon completing, no, not that. Sir Emil was a member of the Knights of the Nine, a holy order devoted to recovering the relics of the Crusader. Through reading his journal, I have learned of the location of his former headquarters, the Priory of the Nine in the Westfield. Once I've recovered the helm from the shrine of the Crusader, I should proceed to the old Priory. Covered the helm of the Crusader, first piece of the Crusader's relics. Now that I've recovered the helm, I should proceed to Priory of the Nine to see if it still holds the curious of the Crusader. <laughs> Look at that beautiful imperial city. Alright. Let's get to the Priory of the Nine. Ironically close to Psylorn. <laughs> There's actually an unmarked building somewhere down here too. shrines makes your infamy go away. I also think the Night Mother stuff's gone too. Oh no. Night Mother's blessing's still there. Well that's good at least. Sir Emil's ring fits perfectly into the diamond shape opening on the floor. Sir 
sure Amiel's ring is actually cool looking too. Uh, where is it? A big giant diamond. I don't think you can see it with my armor on, but. Find some old Knights of the Nine stuff. By the strength and guidance of the Nine, who comes before us upon this sacred ground? Seeking the curus of the Divine Crusader! Step forward, adventurer, and face us each in honorable combat. For the vows we fail to revere in life, we shall uphold in death. No unworthy soul shall lay hands upon this sacred artifact without the of the nine. Anyone else? <laughs> Sir Gregory, you are defeated. Sir Cassidy, step forward. Bested Sir Casimir. Now face Sir Ralvis. Sir Junkin. Sir Torolf, show the challenger the ferocity of the North. Whoa! 
you have stood against the Knights of the Nine and lived. However, the final test is upon you. Ready yourself, Sir Knight, and face me! stood against us and lived. Step forward and claim what is yours by right. May your faith be true. I've recovered the curious of the Crusader. I should talk to the ghosts of the former knights to the Nine to see if they can aid me in the quest of the remaining Crusader's relics. By the Nine! I've not seen such strength! Could you be... No, you cannot. You are simply a noble knight. So the Helm of the Crusader? You completed the quest that I could not. I am glad that my death at least served to lead you here. As I had hoped. And the Knights of the Nine? The original Order of the Nine was founded with the intention of safekeeping the Crusader's relics. In life, we failed at this task. In death, we seek to preserve what little we accomplished while we wait for one to come and finish what we began. And Sir Beric? One of the mightiest knights of my day. It was a great boost to the Order's prestige when he joined. Unfortunately, he and I did not see eye to eye on certain matters. He left the Order during the War of the Red Diamond and never returned. Walk with the Nine, Sir Knight. I know where you may find the Gauntlets of the Crusader, for I was the one who lost them. Though many know where they are, they are still lost. I believe there is something you must do in order to retrieve them. Would you listen to my tale and learn of the Gauntlet's fate? Sounds good. When the Order fractured, I followed Sir Beric into war, taking the Gauntlet's with me. When it was over, I returned to Cyrodiil. I attempted to return to the service of the Nine, but the war had changed me. I no longer had sympathy for the weak or pity for the suffering. In the brief time I was there, I did more to hurt the chapel than help it. It was there that I was cursed. Cursed? What do you mean? A beggar who came to the chapel each day for help tried my patience one too many times. I lost my temper and struck him. My blow landed harder than I had intended, and he fell to the floor dead, killed in the very chapel of the God of Mercy. I left the chapel at once, of course, but the damage was done. I was weak, constantly weary, and lacked the energy to do almost anything. What about the gauntlets? Ah, yes. As proof of the deed, when I struck the poor man, the gauntlets slipped right off my hands and fell to the floor. Heavy as stone, they would not move. None could lift them. I suspect they lie there still, in Coral's chapel. You must prove to Stendar you are worthy to lift the gauntlets once more. Seek out the priests in Coral. Perhaps they can help you. What's this curse? It was placed on me for defying the teachings of Stendar in his very chapel. My entire lineage was ruined by this curse. Whether it is connected to the fate of the gauntlets, I do not know. The gauntlets of the Crusader? I have no doubt that they still lie within the Chapel of Stendar in Coral. No mortal man could lift them. In the Knights of the Nine? We had only the best of intentions. Truly we did. We meant only to serve the Nine and the Empire. It's hard to believe it all went so wrong. May the Nine guide your way. 
You have my tribute, Sir Knight. In 300 years, none have passed the gauntlet. In 300 years, we have never known hope. But for the first time, it seems that someone may succeed where we have failed. I see in you the chance to redeem our souls and restore the order. And now, I must ask you to press forward where I could not. I must ask you to face the challenge of Zenithar. How did you fail? I was arrogant and foolhardy. I sought personal glory. I placed my own will and my own lust for fame over the will of the Nine. In facing the challenge of Zenithar, I failed. I tried dozens, no, hundreds of times to reach the mace. I fell each time, and each time I awoke in the chapel, I leapt again. I tried to enlist the help of the other knights, but none would come to my aid. The inscription says to walk in the faith, but even now, I do not know what this means. Must I do? Below the chapel of Zenithar in Leowin, there is a shrine to the great craftsman, Saint Calidus. Those seeking the mace must pray before the shrine. When you bow, you will receive a vision. Or perhaps not, it is unclear. The priest saw that my body never moved, but it felt so real. You will see the mace separated from you by a great chasm. The chasm represents your doubt. Your faith must be your guide across it. My faith will guide me? This is what I know. As I said, my faith was weak. I did not understand the test, and I fell from the platform each time I tried to cross. I have told you all that I know. All that is left is for you to prove yourself more worthy than I. If you seek the mace, travel to Leowin's chapel, kneel at the shrine in the Undercroft, and let your faith in the Nine be the salvation of us all. And the gauntlets of the Crusader? Casimir left with the gauntlets when the Order dissolved. I heard that he lost them, but I had my own problems to deal with. The Knights of the Nine? Our greed for the relics overshadowed our faith in the Nine. I can only hope that you are stronger than we were. Mace of the Anathar? Legends say that when Pelinol Whitestrake was slain by the aliens, a messenger carried the mace to the human settlement of Leowin as a message. Centuries later, the master craftsman Saint Calidus built the chapel of Zenithar in Leowin as a tribute to the legend. When Saint Calidus was laid to rest, those who prayed to Zenithar at his tomb began to receive visions of the mace of the Crusader. And Zenithar? Of the original divines, Zenithar is thought to be the most in touch with the mortal realm. Some legends say that Zenithar has close ties to Kinnereth, an idea that is supported by the manner in which the two gods' realms interact. Craftsmen devoted to Zenithar are able to create and profit from the materials provided by Kinnereth's natural world. The two work in harmony, the natural world providing for the craftsmen. One cannot revere Zenithar without acknowledging the power of Kinnereth. Walk with the Nine, Sir Knight. If you are true to the teachings of Julianus, it may be possible for you to find the shield of the Crusader. What do you mean? When the Order crumbled, I set out on my own. After years of searching, I found the shield and brought it to Fort Bulwark for safekeeping. With the help of a few trusted friends, I began work to keep the shield safe for all eternity. I never saw my work finished. I died defending the fort from those who would take and misuse the shield. I never saw our work finished. I trust that the others carried on without me. Fort Bulwark. It lies in the southeast of Cyrodiil, near the Black Marsh border. If all went according to plan, it should be very well guarded now. Believe in yourself and use your knowledge wisely. You will pass through unharmed, and the shield will be yours. Fort Bulwark? Look to the southeast of Cyrodiil to find it. I cannot say for certain what is inside, but be prepared for anything. Julianos? History and knowledge are his domain. He is the god of wisdom and logic. He teaches us, know the truth, 
observe the law. When in doubt, seek wisdom from the wise. Thanks to the Nine. Though we went our separate ways when the Order fell, we all served the Nine in our hearts. All but one. Mace of Xanathar? Sir Ralvis quested for the mace after Sir Beric's betrayal. He believed that with the mace, he would be able to bring the rest of us together. He stayed in the chapel of Leowen for months, attempting the test over and over. He hardly ate, hardly slept. In the end, he failed. He left the chapel broken and beaten. Sir Emil found his body and laid him to rest here at the Priory. In the shield of Crith Crusader? The shield is safeguarded within Fort Bulwark. It is protected, and care must be taken when attempting to find it. May the Nine guide your way. I am at your service, Commander. Knights of the Nine? In matters of faith, one cannot be bogged down in the affairs of this world. Learn from us. Cast aside your treasures and serve the Nine. The Shield of the Crusader? Sir Henrik wasn't drawn into the war as so many of us were. His mind never left the shield. Walk with the Nine, sir. How may I serve you, Commander? Gauntlets of the Crusader? Sir Casimir took the gauntlets to war with him. After what happened with Beric, who would try to stop him? Knights of the Nine? Complacency proved to be our greatest enemy. The service of the Nine requires eternal vigilance. Go with virtue. Those two guys were useless. I wish to see you succeed where I failed. I was on the path to the boots of the Crusader, but died before I reached them. Do you wish to learn what little I know? Tell me more. I cannot tell you exactly how to find the boots, for that will be up to Kinnereth. I can tell you to seek out her priests, though. West of the Imperial City, on the edge of the Great Forest, is a shrine. You will find them there, and they will tell you what you need to know. The boots of the Crusader? The boots are safeguarded by Kenareth herself. You must be tested and prove yourself worthy to acquire them. The Knights of the Nine? The wars of men undermine the service of the Nine. Do not follow in our mistakes. And the Shield of Crusader? Sir Henrik spent his days looking for the shield. He was so determined. We all were in those days. Walk with the Nine, Sir Knight. Greetings, Sir Knight. Gauntlets of the Crusader. The gauntlets were recovered by Sir Casimir. One of our few victories during our time. But then, even our victories became our failure. Knights of the Nine. In death, we continue the work that escaped us in life. The relics must still be guarded, for someday they shall be needed once more. And Sir Beric? Alas, my old comrade is not among us here. We do not know why his spirit did not join us here to guard our last relic. We were estranged in life, but I had hoped that in death we could be reconciled. For my part, I now know that I am largely to blame for the ruin of the old order. Sir Amiel takes too much upon himself. I will say no more. Go with virtue. I've spoken with the ghosts of the Knights of the Nine and learned where the several parts of the armor of the Crusader are hidden. I should now I should return when I've collected them all. So there's actually an order to these things. So we gotta get the boots of the Crusader first. So that'll help us get the mace. And the other two I can just do whenever.
you will know pain. Yeah. Greetings, Red Guard. What's going on with you? I've heard that. What brings you to the altar of Kinnereth, my child? The boots of the Crusader. You would seek the holy relic Kinnereth has bestowed upon the world. Then you must prove yourself worthy. Kinnereth's creations guard her relic, and you must pass the test before you may be granted the boots. Test? What test? I cannot say what it will be, for I do not know. Kinnereth herself will decide in what manner you shall be tested. All I can do is direct you to the Grove of Trials and remind you to heed Kinnereth's teachings. Fear and respect nature and all her creations. Where is this grove? Not far from here, to the west. Nestled within the great forest, it is a place many would overlook. I warn you that it is unwise to take anyone with you. You should go there alone. Fear and respect nature? Indeed. Nature itself is Kinnereth's domain. All its creatures are her wards. You would do well to remember this when it comes time for your test. Very well. I shall take this test. Then proceed directly to the grove, as your test has begun. Kinnereth may choose to guard you along the way. That is up to her. Good luck. Sounds good. Good day. The Nords have always been... Grove of Trials. Shall have to wait and see what Kinnereth has in store for me. attacked me in the sacred grove, but I made no attempts to fight back. The cave has been revealed, and it seems to the boots of the crusader are waiting inside. <laughs> Sorry, bear. I had to trap you in the rock. the boots of the crusader. I've completed Sir Junkin's quest by recovering the boots of the crusader. I should continue searching for the relics of the other ghost knights that were requesting for. So the boots actually have a really good enchantment on them. If you wear it, you'll get this thing called Woodland's Grace. This basically... It doesn't tell you what it does, but... It basically just makes animals not attack you. At all. So you'll never have to worry about 
animals attacking you while you're wearing the boots. Okay. Let's go get the mace. I've heard of you. You're the one restoring the Knights of the Nine, aren't you? Yes, I am. And who are you? My name is Kennedy Sohoran. Like you, I am a servant of the Nine, specifically of Zenithar. I came here seeking his mace. However, I could not pass the test. I'm just... I'm no crusader, but that doesn't mean that I cannot serve Zenithar. In light of recent attacks, I've signed on to protect the chapel. I'm fair with a blade, and... By my honor, I'll serve the Nine in any way I can. I have to go. Very well. I wish you luck, Sir Knight. become clear. I knelt before the shrine of St. Calidus in Leowin, and found myself transported to some dark void. I can see the mace of Zenithar in the distance. There is a glowing walkway leading towards them. The boots of the Kinnereth are vibrating softly, and they seem to have some connection with the mythical, the mystical path. I've recovered the mace. I've completed Sir Ralvis's quest by recovering the mace of the Crusader. I should continue searching for the relics of the other ghost knights we're requesting for. And I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button and subscribe. Peace.